I just launched a brand new product and within minutes got a message from a friend of mine that something was broken. So I'm gonna show you how I went about finding more information about that error, which turned out to be in my image upload process and the form that I created, as well as the solution that I came up with and what it looks like now. So this project is called Deals for Devs. You can find it at dealsfordevs.com. And this is basically an aggregation of all the deals that I can find throughout the year of stuff that I think developers might be interested in. Now to help curate that content, we have a form where people can submit their own deals. So you give it a name, a category, website URL, product description, and then in this case, a cover image. Now to handle this, I'm using React Drop Zone. We'll come back to this in a second, but for handling uh, drag and drop and then just uh, upload, this package actually works really great and it's pretty easy to work with. So we'll talk a little bit more about the details in a second. So one of the things I've added since is a requirement here on the size uh, max of this. And I wanna show you what happens if you try to upload an image that goes beyond the two megabyte max. So I have in here an image from the developer to leader uh, course. I'll have a link to this in the description below. This is from Ankita who actually sent me the error message. And you can see this is 2.2 megabytes. And if I upload this, you actually see that I now get a correct uh, flash message saying this is too large. This is the uh, file size limit. So let's go to what it was running eventually and I'll kind of show you exactly what the error was and how we debug this. So inside of here, if I go back and try to upload this without the fix in, it's going to just say failed and not really give an answer. It doesn't even pop up the toast message. So I decided to go and look inside of my Sentry dashboard to see if I could find that error and find all the details behind it. Now Sentry is a paid partner of mine and are specifically sponsoring my time to work on deals for devs, which I'm extremely grateful for, but they really came in clutch here for being able to diagnose exactly what was going on in my application and go and build the solution. And so inside of my Sentry dashboard, I actually have an error registered for this. So I can look inside of this error and this will take and give me a little bit more context than what was just there. And so this is referencing the, in the product info component, which is the component for this page of the multi-step form, you can see I'm trying to reference the name property of a given file. And if we go back to product info component, you can see that we have a callback called handle image upload. And this is uh, something that we pass into our component, if we scroll down a little bit more, to our drag and drop image. So we pass in an on file change function into the drag and drop image, the drag and drop image is the thing that actually uses drop zone. And so inside of here, we have configured the requirements for the images, what file types, the max size, et cetera, whether or not you want to accept multiple. And then we actually use that down below. So inside of Sentry, we could also go back through and see the exact same process where you can see this actually does call the on file change with the first file of an array of accepted files. So again, Sentry gives us a pretty good idea of where in the code we can go to find the solution. And then also is tracking all the information of release and browser and environment name and all these different things. So it was cool to have this deployed to a staging environment and then also be able to see like the actual error being tracked inside of Sentry. Now, one other thing worth noting is if you come down, you can actually see a full replay of the session and what was going on. So you can see Ankita getting down here and trying to upload this file, see the error pop up down here as well. And notice all the data is obfuscated, so you're not gonna leak any of your sensitive data. Pretty cool stuff. So the issue in here is, is in the on drop callback. So anytime we try to upload an image to this component, to this drag and drop component, it's gonna call this on drop callback. And so inside of here, we basically trigger the on file change and just assume that we have a list of accepted files. Now I thought if it didn't receive any valid files, it would not trigger this callback, but actually it does. And if we look at this and actually log out the accepted files, we're gonna see that if we get an error, it's actually gonna trigger that, but it's gonna trigger with an empty array. So if we trigger the 2.2 megabyte image, that happens, then you see inside of here, we get an empty array. So at very minimal, what we could do is just say, if we don't have, or if accepted files dot length is zero, then we could just go ahead and return. So basically, if we don't have any accepted files, we go ahead and return and that works, but it doesn't really give the user any additional information. So if we go back and do this again and upload the PNG again, no errors are thrown, so that's good, but it doesn't give the user context as to what actually happened. So what do we do in this case? Well, I'm gonna go back to the code snippet that we actually added to solve this, and that is to actually handle the failed file upload use case. And we do this by passing in another property called on drop rejected. 
Inside of here, you get an array of file rejections. For each one of those rejections, you can get the errors. Then you can get the first or multiple errors associated with that image. So in this case, I'm just tracking the first error. And then I look at the code for that. So they have different codes for different errors. I look at the code and then use that as a way to pop up this toast message that specifically says what the requirement is that is failing. So now we have this much better experience where not only does this fail gracefully, but it also pops up this message and you know exactly what's going wrong inside of this form. So I think this is a good example of like, you're going through the documentation and you see the first example and it says on drop accepted files. And you just kind of think, okay, that's all I have to do. And then it comes down to real world examples where things fail, how are they handled? And that's where I had to go back and just dig in here. Like what happens if things fail? Do I actually have another trigger or do I have another function that I could pass a callback to, to be able to handle those? And after doing a little bit of digging to make sure we're handling that use case, now it handles it much more gracefully. Now there's one piece of feedback that I got on this, that we want these images primarily to be 1920 by 1080 images. So one of the next things I'm going to work on is actually restricting this to make sure it is those specific dimensions and add custom uh, validation messages for that as well. Now, if you're interested in participating in this project at all, this is open to the community. It's open source. There's a list of issues. There's ongoing PRs. This is at deals for devs on GitHub. And that is what this project is. And it's something I'm going to be continuing to work on a lot in the future. I'm working with some really fun technologies. Next.js is the majority of this. And then two of my partners, which is Zeta for the database and then Sentry, as you saw today for error tracking and alerting. Thank you to both of them for sponsoring my time to be able to work on this, which has been a ton of fun. But check it out at dealsfordevs.com. And if you want to participate and contribute code or just kind of join the conversation, check out the GitHub repo. And then if you want, you can join our Discord at learnbuildteach.com. Send me a DM and I can add you to the course or to the Deals for Devs specific channel. You can kind of join the conversation there. Anyways, let me know what you think of the project. Hope this video on a real life bug for me deploying to production was something that was helpful for you. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you next time.